Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So back to our Java 8 stream series. So today we are going to talk about that in a given list of numbers, we have to find out the duplicate numbers, a very famous interview question. In fact, you can use anywhere in your utilities, in your framework also, whenever you have to find out the duplicate numbers. How to do that? Very simple. You have to use a frequency concept here with collections. How to do that? So let's see, this is a list that I have created and just apply a stream first. And then after that, you immediately apply a filter and then uh, collect all the numbers in E from the stream and then supply to where? Supply to uh, this collections dot class, I mean collection class. And then there is a method, a frequency method is there. So collection dot frequency method is available. And this frequency is saying that what is your list name? This is the list and what all different arguments you want to check. So what will happen? This E will go to uh, go to this particular list one by one and then frequency will check that how many times it is coming So let's see if the frequency is coming greater than one then I'll put a condition inside my Okay, a filter here if the frequency is greater than one then do what you do a collect over here Okay, and then we know that there is a We can collect in the collectors so I can just write this collectors dot to set method You can get it so it will give you one set of integer see this carefully so this collection dot frequency you have to apply the frequency of this e e means e is pointing to this stream and a stream is pointing to this guy so one by one all the values will be compared with this list i mean uh, will be checked in this particular list the frequency of that element in this list is greater than one then you collect inside the two set two set means it will give you what see this it's giving you set of integer here so you can store inside the set of integer so i'll write integer here Okay, and then uh, I just simply say, let's say this is my duplicate, uh, duplicate something like this. You can write it here like this, right? And then import everything, and then let's print system dot or print ln dup. So am I getting a duplicate set or not? So let's run it and let's see. Okay, so here you can see one, two, three, ten, comma thirty. So yes, you can see one is common. I mean, one is a duplicate, three is duplicate, two is also duplicate. 10 is also duplicate and 30 is also duplicate so it will you will just get the duplicate and numbers over here okay so this is the first way of doing it second way is that we know that uh, set uh, collections right set will store always a duplicate uh, sorry a non duplicate values it cannot hold a duplicate values so you can use a set also right set to collect only duplicate values so how to do that so let me just uh, do one thing let me just uh, comment it out this guy and then I'm going to create one set object with the new hash set that I'm going to do, use. And then I'll start uh, start storing the data in this particular integer, set of integer. And let's say this is my uh, duplicate number is equal to new uh, hash set that I'm going to write it. And then I'm going to write integer here. Okay. Import that. And then on the same list, what you do is you just apply a stream. Okay. And then I'm going to apply a filter. And in this particular filter, let's see all the elements through lambda. I'm passing it to where? I'm passing to to this particular duplicate num dot add method is available. See this, add method will return a boolean. Okay. See this. This method will return a boolean true or false. If the number is already added, it will give you false. If number is not there, it will give you true here. So I supply this e over here, and then I'll put a not condition here like this. It means if the number is already uh, there, it will return false and then this not will make it true so that's why now we will uh, proceed further and after that what exactly i'm going to do that i'm just going to collect in the same collectors so i'll simply write collectors dot uh, to set over here like this that's it okay and then this guy will give you one set of uh, a duplicate numbers so let's say i'm storing inside the set of duplicate numbers over here like this okay and uh, what do you just need to do you just simply write print system dot or print and duplicate and let's see it is also giving you the same thing or not so this is also giving the same thing one two three ten comma thirty i hope this is the right output yes one two three ten thirty nineteen fifteen thirteen they are not common i mean they are not duplicate so this is also fine okay so this also you can use it uh, with the help of set collection you just need to apply this condition see this add method is giving you a boolean here if the value is already added it will not add it will return false so that's why we are making it true over here okay 
so because we have to collect a duplicate number so once the condition is true then we will start collecting the set over here like this so that also you can do it or i would prefer this one this is a very famous interview question that collection dot frequency you have to use it so with this method see you can easily solve such complex problem you don't need to write complex for loop and putting a lot of conditions over there and all such things that easily within one line you can do that and then you get your set and then just use it for your purpose either your printing or whatever you want to do it you can do that so that's all for this particular video i hope it's clear and i hope you are enjoying uh, streams there are many more videos are coming on java streams till then take care and please subscribe to the channel i'll see you next video god bless you all